Take a look at this, folks. Chicago is facing a real challenge right now with a measles outbreak hitting hard, especially at migrant shelters. In just four days, they've seen five confirmed cases. And here's the kicker. The outbreak's not just staying put. It's starting to spread. Now, we're talking about several cases at one Chicago shelter, and it's got folks worried especially when it comes down to Chicago residents' kids and the community at large. So we have a tweet here at Todd Perrin, and he says, CDC sending special teams to Chicago to help with the measles outbreak at migrant shelters. They have five known cases in four days. With all illegals coming across the borders with no vaccine, measles cases are breaking out all over the country. So, I mean, the city's on high alert. With states officially moving quickly to get those exposed, especially vulnerable women and children, into safer spots like hotel. And get this, around 900 migrants did get their shots against measles, mumps, and rubella over at the Pilsen shelter. I mean, that's a big deal because these vaccines do need a couple of weeks to really kick in. So we have more information on the cases that have been reported on the migrant shelter at New Arrivals in the Pilsen. And it has been five cases of highly contagious disease in Chicago in just four days which is a lot and it's spreading quickly. And it's not just migrants that are, you know, exposed to this. Some migrants are going to public schools in Chicago and it's actually exposing Chicago residents' children. So it says the Chicago public school said one patient was a CPS student. The youngster attended Philip D. Armour Elementary School and was staying at the Halston Street Migrant Shelter in Pilsen. So this youngster was hospitalized as a Monday, but in good condition. They also have other cases where those cases were both adults. They're all about getting those vaccinations done and keeping an eye out for everyone who might catch the virus. But it's all hands on deck with local health teams also doing a bit to spread the word, making sure folks know where and when to get their shots. Now, why is all of this happening? Well, measles is no joke. It spreads like a wildfire and can really knock you out with high fevers, nasty coughs, and a rash that doesn't quit. And because it's so contagious, Everyone's on the edge trying to keep it from blowing up even more. Chicago public schools are right in the thick of it too, as we know about the student that got hit with measles and ended up in the hospital. But thank goodness they're doing okay. It also got parents and teachers double checking those vaccination records, making sure every kid is protected. The city's pushing hard for vaccinations, reminding everyone how crucial they are to keep not just themselves, but their neighbors safe too. They're even offering shots at no cost for kids and uninsured adults. That's the spirit of Chicago, right? Stepping up, taking care of each other. But here's the thing that got everyone talking. Folks are wondering why we're in this spot to begin with. Why are folks coming in without the vaccinations that keep this serious disease at bay? It's questions that got a lot of Chicagoans scratching their heads, especially after everything the United States has been through in the last few years with C-19. And it's not just measles. Other illnesses are popping up too, putting a strain on everyone from health workers to schools to families just trying to stay healthy. So what's the game plan? Well, it's all about keeping those shots, keeping an eye out for symptoms, and making sure we're all doing our part to keep our community safe. Right now, Chicago is in a tough spot right now, and hopefully they can handle this. Hopefully they got this. And let's not forget to stick together and look out for one another. Stay safe, stay informed, and let's get through this together. Make sure you leave your thoughts and comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.